Hey everybody, welcome. It's Caleb and we are now starting the section on redirection and dealing with standard output and standard error. So a lot of cool stuff coming up. Hopefully you guys are excited. So I wanted to start by first showing you two different ways to create a file. The first being the touch command and this will allow you to just put a file name and it'll show up as a file. The other way is you can actually use the greater than symbol and then give a file name, we'll just say file2, and this will work as well. So there is a really important difference that you need to understand between these two when it comes to starting to learn about redirection. The first is that the touch command will just update a timestamp of a file if it already exists. So if we say ls-l, that's going to show all the timestamps of last modified, and we can see 1119 for file and file two. If I go ahead and say touch file again, and then we say ls-l, you can see it's now updated to 1120. Let's go ahead and put something in this file. We can do that with the echo command. We'll just say hello, and I showed you this in previous videos, but this is actually redirection in action. We'll just put that inside a file. And when we take a look at what's in that file, we can do that with cat. We can see it has the value hello. If we go ahead and we touch file again, this doesn't actually change the content in the file. This is very different than if we were to use the greater than symbol, because basically what we're doing is we are redirecting nothing into this file and it replaces everything inside of it. So if I go ahead and do this, well, that's going to replace the content of the file. So now it is empty. So to quickly summarize that, you can use the touch command or you can use the greater than symbol to create a file and update the timestamp of a file. Touch will create the file initially and then update the timestamp or as the greater than symbol will always replace the content of the file or create a new file. So what exactly is redirection? Because we're actually using it here. When we say echo hello, this greater than symbol is known as redirection, and we are redirecting the output into this file called file. We're doing the same thing here, but in this case, we're redirecting nothing into that file, which is why it becomes empty. So again, redirection will take the output of some command, in this case, echo hello, and put that inside of a file. Now it doesn't actually put everything inside of that file. It only puts what's known as standard output. There's also standard error, which we're going to talk about in the next video. Now you also have the option to append to a file. So let's see what that looks like. If we say echo, and we'll just say issue, let's pretend something goes wrong in a, a script or something, we can append that to a file. We'll just call it log.txt, for example. When we do this, well, it's going to first create that file. So now we have log.txt and we can check what's inside of that. It has the value issue. Well, if we run into another issue, but we are appending, well, it's just going to continue writing that in the file. So now we have issue in there twice. So one greater than symbol will replace everything. Two greater than symbols will append. Now this is going to take the standard output for any command and put it in this file. But you can do this for pretty much any command. So for example, we could say ls-la and direct that into a file called list. And now when we say cat list to see what's inside of it, you can see we get the same exact output that we would have gotten if we issued this command and got the standard output inside of the terminal. The only difference is it puts it in a file now. So when we issued one of the echo commands earlier, such as this here echo issue, basically what it's doing is it's taking the output of this command and putting it in that file. Well, the output of this command is actually just going to be this value. And that's exactly what the echo command does. So this was a very basic introduction to redirection. So far we've learned how to redirect standard output to a file. 
In the next video, I want to talk about standard error, which standard error is if there's an error with your command and that error shows up in the terminal, well, that is another thing we want to deal with. So I'll see you in the next video where we're going to learn about that. Peace out.